President Cyril Ramaphosa says South Africa will continue to contribute to peace missions in Africa, including deploying troops to the Democratic Republic of Congo. Two South African soldiers were killed yesterday at an SANDF camp in the DRC with three injured. The president was, was responding to the debate on his State of the Nation address. Meanwhile, opposition parties have also weighed in. We've just deployed personnel from the South African National Defence Force to the Democratic Republic of Congo as part of the SADC mission. Now, because we are part of SADC, as we are part of SADC, we have deployed soldiers to Mozambique. And of course, in a situation of conflict, yes, there are those who will fall. And in any war situation, there are people who fall. Now, as part of SADC, we are part of SADC, and that is why when SADC decided that the region as a whole needs to go and support the people of the DRC, South Africa has also, as always, had to come up and deploy its soldiers there as well. And we have been, we have been part of peacekeeping missions all over the world. Now we support our Defence Force personnel who brave great dangers to make Africa a more peaceful and stable continent. That is what we applaud them for and we dip our heads for those who are injured and those who may well have fallen. Unfortunately, we sit in a position that none of the ROIFOC is available anymore and we have only got one Oryx available that is due for a major service. We have lost a, a Oryx two weeks ago when uh, they, it, it also drew fire from the rebels. So we are in the predicament that those soldiers are not properly prepared and they are very poorly resourced. Ordinary resources, budgets, but in terms of air support, there are huge concerns and problems. And I was not hoping that I would be proven correct and right so quickly. So we, 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 con we, we are disappointed. We um, give our sincere condolences to the families and we hope the injured will recover very well. But this is a bad day and uh, President Ramaphosa and the Minister of Defence must take full responsibility for what happened because they were well aware and were warned about this. Firstly, as the IFP, we want to offer our condolences to family members of those who lost their lives and also wish those that are injured a speedy recovery. It's a matter of great concern that uh, we send as South African SNDF people abroad to be part of peacekeeping forces. They are ill-equipped. They, you know, they, they, there's no proper planning and this is what happens, you know, they become cannon fodder when they go there. And we've, we've raised this before and it seems to be something that's being done over and over again. And unless we do proper planning and ensure that our men have proper equipment, aerial equipment and whatever else they need, this is going to continue happening and we can't be losing young people from our country in this way. It is unfortunate that the president actually put our soldiers under pressure they don't have a proper air support and other equipment to fight in uh, the Congo. Therefore, it is quite clear that he wants to do it for personal gain to enhance his image in Africa. We cannot afford it that in the other way. And my condolences to the family of the soldiers who were killed in the attack. But I foresee that there is going to be more attacks and more killings because of the president who just wants to ensure and enhance his image in Africa. South African deployment of soldiers to DRC is out of order. It must be withdrawn with immediate effect. Not that South Africa is not supposed to deploy in DRC. We support to deploy in DRC and be in the forefront. We just don't have the army. Our army can't look after cabbages. I can't hire them in my farm to go and look after cabbages. We just don't have the army. 
the ANC has collapsed the army. That's why in the manifesto of the EFF we say we will finance the army and make sure that it's properly ta- trained and the necessary equipment needed for the success of the army is provided. Those rebels, they are well equipped. Who goes to a base of an army if you know that thing is an army and is powerful? You go to the base once you have undermined them. Huh? Base. That's why all of the army in the battlefield, when things are bad, they are called to retreat to the base. Because that's where you can regroup and attack. No, they come to a base. That's how weak you are.